Welcome to IV Systems. Um, we have a IMS secure module and uh, platform. So we have ported Windows Ember Compact 7 and Android 2.3 platform. So I would like to uh, tell you about IMS secure development and what we have. So if you see, this has uh, IMS secure SOM module. It has got 70 cross 70 millimeter as a Q7 form factor uh, module and uh, this is the model. So it has got uh, 2 GB NAND flash and uh, 512 MB DDR RAM. So this these are the uh, connectors or expansion connector. So this is the edge connector. All the pins, USB and UART and VGA, everything will come out from this uh, uh, connector, edge connector. So this is how we connect the module in the development platform. So this is the US, uh, serial port connector and this is the USB post and these are the audio in and audio out. So this is uh, Ethernet, Ethernet work, uh, interfaces and this is uh, USB device and VGA out. Through this you can connect any kind of monitor like uh, uh, 12 inch or 15 inch, any kind of monitor you can connect it. And this will provide Ethernet, wired, wired Ethernet connection and you can uh, put your uh, 3G module or Wi-Fi module in the uh, SD slot. Otherwise, you can put the uh, 3G module via uh, USB. So, I would like to brief about this Android 2.3. See, we already have Android, we already have ported Android 2.1 in this IMS platform. So, what is the difference between the Android 2.1 and 2.3 platform? I would like to uh, just brief about the, uh, the difference between the 2.1 and 2.3. So 2.3 has got uh, user interface like uh, high definition uh, uh, video graphics and it has got Adobe Flash 10.1 uh, new features. So this is the Android 2.3 demo platform. So these are the features. Uh, you can browse and you can uh, check your mail here and these are the galleries if you want to see any uh, videos, any pictures and uh, Single touch, uh, single touch uh, platform. You can touch once, and it will uh, get the pictures, everything in that uh, uh, screen. So this has got all the features. The main and the main uh, difference between the Android 2.1 and 2.3 is it will support high video graphics and it will support Adobe Flash 10.1 and it is also provide the support for 3G module using SPI and uh, so I would like to uh, explain uh, explain about the Windows Ember Compact 7. Uh, and what are the what are the features difference between Windows C six point zero and what is the difference between Windows C six point zero and Windows C uh, Ember Compact seven? Let's continue on uh, Windows Ember Compact seven based on IMX fifty one. So as I said earlier, we have uh, ported IMX fifty one based development platform uh, Windows Ember Compact seven is ported on the MX51 based platform. So here if you see, uh, there are a lot of difference between the uh, previous version of uh, 
Windows CE 6.0 and Windows 7 Compact 7. So I would just like to uh, explain about the features, what, is the, what are the latest features is supporting. So it has uh, uh, Adobe Flash 10.1, it, it will support Adobe Flash 10.1 and it also support uh, uh, MPEG 4 HD high definition MPEG 4 and uh, consume media, serial light 3.0 and express blend uh, all the kind of uh, new features it will support uh, uh, on the IMX 51 uh, based platform. So uh, this this LCD has uh, uh, 1000 1080p um, hardware codec and it has uh, uh, 1024 into uh, 768 uh, resolution. So this has all the uh, features like uh, uh, video player and uh, uh, music player, all the remote applications is available. So, as I said earlier, this uh, module will consume only uh, less than 2 watts uh, power consumption. So, it can be used for any kind of uh, green energy controller uh, application. It is called as a green energy controller module. It can be called as a um, green energy controller module. So in this uh, Windows Server Compact 7 also we are supporting all the peripherals like uh, um, Ethernet and uh, USB and VGA out and ether and uh, serial port, audio in and audio, audio, audio out. This audio in audio out we can use it for uh, speakers and uh, it can be used for any kind of uh, uh, audio purposes. So I think I could have explained about the most of the features and most of the uh, um, things about the IMX51, what are the support are available with the iWave systems. This complete platform is developed by iWave and this module also developed by iWave. Now we have IMX51 based uh, Q7 module also, it will be coming soon. So uh, if you need any further information, you can contact uh, iWave systems. You can mail mail to uh, mkdg at iosystems.com. Thank you.